What is up guys? Pup T from Life, Liberty, and the Homestead. And today, we got a problem in the house. So, I'm going to try to fix it. I'm going to have you follow along. So, let's get this video started. Woo! So, the issue that we're having is inside the house, well, from our, our well, when it pumps water up, we're getting tons of sand, which in our area, it's a very sandy area, but it's a constant battle. I mean, it'll fill up the back of the toilet an inch. And I mean, this stuff is super, super fine. Gets into all the 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 pipes and you know everything i mean it, the sand is everywhere so today what i'm going to do is put two whole house sediment filters out here in the well house so i'm no plumber so <laughs> we'll see how this goes baby Woo. so the very first thing i have to do which i've already done is I needed to turn off the well so it doesn't pump any more water into our pressurized tank which then means we have no water in the house then after I did that I'm I measured out because we have a water turn off to the house but I don't have one for the the well itself as far as dealing with the pressure tank and stuff like that so i'm gonna put in a shutoff valve further back in the system so that if something happens we can turn it off down here turn that off run the water out flush it out and then it's it's not so much water having to be flushed out and stuff like that so but this is the piece that i cut out and then I, I measured right there, inch and a quarter, I'm going to cut that. And then I'm going to apply the shutoff valve to that spot right there. There's the shut off, put primer on there, then the glue. So I'll give that time some set as I take the two uh, sediment filters and configure those how I want them. And then we'll start gluing all that together. So the two sediment filters I got, and I, I apologize, I know the lighting's probably not gonna be the greatest. I got this one from tractor supply right here it has a metal uh, screen in it that's going to be our first filter that water goes through and then our second filter we got is going to be the whole house sediment filter which essentially they're, they're the same thing the difference is is that first one that I showed you it has a flush um, valve at the bottom of it so the sediment it, it's got it it's like a vortex and as the water goes around in it the sediment gets trapped into that screen and then begins to fall down to the bottom and then once it gets to the bottom there's like the uh, it's almost like a off ramp or something right so the sediment begins to fall into that off ramp drops down into this little pocket where we have the another uh, flush valve and I can turn on that flush valve flush all that sand out so during the process while this is going through the house it'll go through that first sediment trap 
and then into the second filter sediment trap. So hopefully having two sediment traps will reduce the sand to about zero is what I'm hoping for. They're rated for certain microns. I don't understand microns, so I can't give you, you know, this is down to, what did it say? I don't know. But so many microns where I, but like I said, I, I don't know what that means. In the future, we're going to get uh, another filtration, which we'll, we'll put on here, but that'll go after the sediment traps through the pressurized tank. And then we'll have a location where we have these other two filters. So, I mean, the biggest thing for us is that sediment. The, the the sand so that's what I'm gonna get to getting this stuff set up ready to be put together and we will go from there so during this setup I'm taking a one inch coupler to a three-quarter inch piece to screw in to here This system came with its own tape, but I saw this mega tape, which I don't know nothing about it, but I figured I'd give it a shot. So I'm putting that around here a couple times. And one thing is, is <clears throat> make sure you guys kind of test fit all your fittings because last night I, I was going to get these shark bite fittings which I don't know if they're just all the rage or what it is with them but when I went to test fit it and it said it was one inch to three quarter but it wouldn't have attached the one inch part wouldn't have attached to my PVC pipe which the PVC pipe itself is not an inch right it's probably an inch and a quarter or whatnot. So that's set up and on the top here, it's got the, the flow of water. So this side comes in, goes out this side. So when you're setting up your system, make sure that you do pay attention to that as well. And again, test fit your pieces before you glue them. So what I've done is I've gotten the two caps for the sediment traps primed, glued. I'll set them to the side to allow them to dry. And on the directions it says to take out your filters. And then once you take out your filters, then glue all that stuff together. And of course the reason being is, is you don't want that glue getting on your 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 filter portion so like that metal screen you don't want to have any glue on that because one it could lessen the life of that screen or second part is it could clog it up so once you put that stuff on there just set it off to the side and and let it kind of chillax and again I, I do apologize I don't have lights in the well house, so, but I find it, it's kind of important to show you guys this stuff because you may run into the same problem or you might be having the same problem right now. And, you know, I'll probably show you too, like we got this mini sh shop vac, but I'll sh I can show you the, the back of the toilet, how much sand really comes into the house and having that much sand, it'll ruin your appliances. So we've been here a uh, year and a half now. So, I mean, in that time, I don't know how much sand has ran through the house, but it's time to put a stop to it now. So that's what we're doing. So next I'm gonna take some measurements cause I gotta build the, uh, I need to have the pipes come off that valve that I first put on, come up over and then back down and into the pipe that runs into the water pressure tank. So 
It's looking good, guys. Looking good. All right, so that is my elbow piece that will come up then end up going into my filters. All right, so here we are in the process. Got the elbow on the end, spacer, sediment trap, and then elbow on the end. Next thing is to measure the length down and then the width over. So I couldn't find my hacksaw, so I'm using this under door blade. So, but I'm also using this box cutter to try to keep everything as square as I can. So really like my biggest concern on this is not getting a proper seal. So making sure the pipe is as flush as it can be roughing up the edges, putting primer, all the fittings, and then putting them together. So fun, fun, fun. Putting primer on here, putting primer to the inside, and then the cement all the way around. Some cement to the inside. Apple Watch, love it. So anyway, so again, coming down here, putting primer on the pipe, primer to the fitting, and then glue. And again, I am not a plumber, so, but let me show you what I've gotten done. I'm gonna give this probably 30 minutes to completely set up, and then I'm gonna put the traps on there, but, Comes up from the well, run through the first sediment, second sediment, down, and into the pressure tank, and then off into the house. Like I said, I got terrible lighting. <laughs> but, so it's raining right now outside, but like I said, I'm gonna give that 30 minutes, set up, dry, check all the fittings, and then I'm gonna turn that valve, the first one that I had, kind of like three quarters shut, and then slowly open it so the water can go into the sediment tanks slowly, and it's not a rush of water into them and stuff like that, but check out this rain though. It'll be pretty hard to tell, but it's beautiful gardens right over there she's getting plenty of water so I'll be in 30 minutes back with you and for you right now so here's the whole system filtration filtration into the pump and then out into the house so over the next couple of days man it's raining and the lighting is terrible. I do apologize if this is a dark video. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I had no lights in here. But that's the system. I'm going to keep an eye on it for the next couple days. Um, tomorrow, the weather looks good. So I'll come back in here, show you what the whole system looks like. So, yeah, baby. All right, so yesterday... I did the sediment filters on our well. But before we go, check that out. And again, I want to apologize for the lighting. It rained off and on all day yesterday. And being in that well house, you know, there's no... I have power, but I turned it off so I could turn off the, the pump itself. So, do apologize for that. But I do hope it was a helpful video. So if it's something you're looking to do, it's super simple to do. You know, 
PVC pipe, some PVC cement, <laughs> and a couple of sediment filters and you're good to go. But let me show you how our garden's looking. And it's it's looking pretty pretty good, I think. So here's our tomatoes. I still have to put up the cattle fence. I know I'm slacking on it. There's our cucumbers. They're doing really, really well. Our broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage. Some of the cabbage is doing a whole lot better than, you know, some of the other stuff. But, I mean, it's all getting enough water, that's for sure. And then the corn. Corn's looking pretty, <laughs> pretty slim. I don't know what we'll get, if anything, from them, but you know again it's the first year of growing corn or a garden for me period so i would say we'll have some cucumbers and our tomatoes will be really good everything else seems like a shot in the dark you know but it's been fun it's it's an experience that if you've never grown a garden you know definitely don't go as big as i did and you have to kind of be patient with it you know just getting the garden itself set up initially before we even planted i mean was a chore and a half and i don't even think the way i did it was even the the best way that it could have been done but i don't have tillers and all that other stuff so i had to use the cabal bags one of these there baby i used the box blade to kind of till up the ground here it is so i have the shut off valve that i talked about there is a small leak and it's coming right here i didn't put plumber's tape on there which i'll do uh later on today Cause I have to shut off the water system and stuff like that and kind of flush it out but sediment second one and I mean you can see how much is in there from one day and then it comes over comes down and then all this was done prior to me so I think it looks pretty good except for that small leak that I gotta fix but again no big deal so that's what I got done yesterday also yesterday was Father's Day and we ended up, me and the wild one went to Jackson, Tennessee, went to Gander Mountain and it looked like they were closing again. Wow, it was weird. They had a lot of stuff on clearance and then they just had, it was almost like empty shelves everywhere. Even their, you know, RVs were like slim pickings. I, I don't know. I don't keep up with too much of the news anyway. So if something came out about Gander, I wouldn't know. But that's going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it because doing the plumbing I've never done before. So that was an experience all in itself. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it was. So hopefully this video will also helps somebody who might be looking at putting sediment filters on their well house yes i put two house full house sed sediment filters on the first one is it's not a like cloth filter type deal as the second one is so that first one's really it's just a metal graded um filter that captures sediment and then it's a vortex goes down and that's when it settles into that cup and then you can flush that cup out, flush that sediment. And then the next one, anything that it missed goes through there. So it should be good to go. But dogs. Stinking dogs. But guys, one last time, follow baby Lulu's head. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Give me some wild comments. Y'all look crazy. I love you. We love you. And we'll see you on the next video.